I want to jump on a couple of things that happened to me this week that I want to get your perspective on, because I know we touched on those issues briefly, but uh, I was at a conference earlier this week where I got to see a bunch of old faces and meet new friends. And as I was kind of reflecting on the way back, it was in San Diego, on the experience, I started to think about the authenticity of some of those relationships. I know you keep a very tight or a very high bar on who, like, who you allow in your life. How do you distinguish between a real relationship and a phony one? You know, that's a good question. I, you know, I don't really know if there are any so-called real relationships outside of the relationship that you have with yourself. And I think that all other relationships are basically um, an extension and um, a a mirror of that one. Um, so, you know, I, what I, the things that I enjoy talking about or exploring, um, really in honesty are the things that I enjoy exploring with clients. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, I, the social scene, I mean, that's very, very narrow for me. Um, you know, I don't, I don't go to parties and get togethers unless I'm dragged there once a year or somewhere somehow. I don't know how I get there, but, um, but it's very tight. It's, it's not, uh, and it's, it's not because there are not nice people in the world. You know, there absolutely are. It's just that I, as you know, the more I go along in life, the more it becomes painfully clear that the things that I want to look into, um, are not really the things that others want to look into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, that's what I respect so much about you. And that's why I asked, right? Because coming back, you know, it's a couple hour drive. I was just really thinking, you know, there's a lot of people who know how to put on a face or put on an act that when they see you at one of those events or conferences, it's a hello and it's very cordial, but there's really no meaning to that relationship. And you come back and you think, you know, these kind of, th these relationships, they don't nourish my life. Why the hell do I keep them? So well, I was anxious I, to well, ask I, you that. Well, I, you know, I would say that very close to zero relationships nourish anyone's life. Um, the thing that people get from relationship is a respite from loneliness. The things that people get from relationship is a chance to, you know, laugh and discuss things, most of which are menial. Um, so the, if you look at the foundation of relationships, I mean, there's nothing but cracks in the foundation. So I'm not sure how many of those really there, there are, um, uh, you know, every, every, every friendship, every relationship, not only as a friendship, but even in the setting of family, I mean, you're always just a heartbeat away from disaster. Mm -hmm. Nothing in this life is, is solid. You know, it's all thin ice. Thank you.